So here uh, in, in passage 2 from chapter 4, we see Utterson trailing the path of Hyde to his flat in Soho that he knows the address of because Hyde gave it to him. And here we really get a sense of the Gothic. Um, that's contextually, that's a literary style of the dark, the darkness, the intricate, hidden architecture of a place. And we sense great menace in the description that Utterson gives us of coming into Soho to try and find this murderer. It's nine in the morning, and he's, he describes the fog, innocently enough, initially as chocolate covered, like a, a kind of covering lowered over heaven. So that first image is, is something of hi, something hiding away. And the the vapors are described as embattled. They're fighting and they're charging and running around. There's something, there's an, there's an atmosphere of menace. And the cab itself is personified and it's just crawling, meaning it's just moving very slowly from street to street. And there was just, not just one type of darkness, but a number of degrees and hues of twilight. There are all these different forms of darkness here. And it's almost as if um, there's been some strange kind of fire or destruction that's taken place here. And the, the light itself seems tired or haggard um, and can't really seem to be doing much. This Soho as, an, as a gothic atmosphere, as a place of evil, keeps out the light. Um, so here we get uh, a muddy passageway and the lights are always lit or never been extinguished to try and fight away this sad, mournful reinvasion of darkness. So darkness invades. There's a fight here between light and dark, which in many ways could link with one of the themes of the book, which is that interaction between good and evil. And moreover, Utterson is terrified all of a sudden. He has a feeling as if this is, he is within a nightmare. And that's, the, that's one of the atmospheres really created by the novel. Um, it's sad, it's gloomy, it's dark. And then he has a feeling that's similar to the feeling that Enfield had in chapter one, which is being alone and being afraid as if he's doing something wrong of the law and the law's officers, which at times assails the most honors. There's something Enfield remembers craving to see a policeman. He was walking around for so long. Here, Utterson is somehow frightened because he's doing some, even though he's honest, he feels like frightened of the rules, the law, because, well, we don't know. Why is he so, why is Utterson so scared? What is he doing that's wrong? Is he going to cover up for his friend? Is he frightened of, that he himself is involved somehow in this murder? Is it that he is worried about what he will discover or what he will do if he finds Hyde. All those suggestions and possibilities come out in that last line. Um, but the thing I want you to really consider here is just the darkness of Soho and uh, how the gothic atmosphere um, helps contribute to the feeling of tension.